and long weekend certainly calls for some relaxation, so why not wind down with a delicious drink? Here's just what we need, the cocktail guru, Jonathan Pogash. Hey guys, uh, miss you tons. Glad I'm able to still make cocktails for you remotely. Uh, welcome to my new digs here. This is an actual bar. I'm making cocktails for you from an actual bar. I'm in downtown New Bedford, Mass, and I couldn't be happier to be here. And guess what, folks? Guess what this weekend is? It's the Kentucky Derby, the 146th Kentucky Derby. So in honor of Derby Day, we are doing this great end of summer cocktail of sorts, the mint julep. Who's had a mint julep before? Here's a trivia question. How many mint juleps are served at the Kentucky Derby? Kentucky Derby? Not this year, obviously. Any guesses? A thousand, a million, it's 120,000. 120,000 mint juleps. It's amazing, right? I love the drink. So you can easily make it a mocktail without using the whiskey. So first of all, I'm starting off with uh, a really nice tin here. This is a, a tin cup, essentially. If you don't have that, that's okay. Don't worry about it. I have my fresh mint that I just picked from my garden. I'm going to take some leaves off of my fresh mint and just wake them, uh, wake them up a little bit. Boom. Throw them right into the mixing glass. This is honey syrup, okay? A little different. Normally we use simple syrup, but I'm using this honey syrup. Actually, my friends uh, over at Cheeky, uh, that's what this company is called, and I use them pretty often for our virtual team building mixology classes. We have these little kits that we can send to people, corporations, to follow along with our cocktail classes. They're great. Look it up. Uh, I'm doing about an ounce of my honey syrup, and I have my uh, trusty spoon. Oh, there's a little bit of flair. That's for you, Brendan. <laughs> and we'll just kind of stir it around, get that mint working together with the honey. There we go. And now we'll add our whiskey. I've got some bourbon whiskey. This is the traditional ingredient in mint juleps. And I don't have my measuring tool, the jigger, so I'm going to eyeball it, folks. And it's okay. I won't judge. So we're doing uh, two ounces of our whiskey. Oh, that's like a healthy shot pour, for those of you who are wondering. Give it a little bit more of a stir, and now I'm going to add ice. And this is important because you add the ice in a couple of different steps. So first of all, I'm going to add ice oh, about halfway, and watch this method. We're just going to smash it a little bit, okay? We're going to add more ice, and normally you use crushed ice, okay? Do you have crushed ice at home? I don't have any crushed ice right now, but this is really good ice anyway. Just give this another little bit of a stir, and then we top it off. Oh, and you get a little bit on the bar. Good thing this is a working bar, right? I, it's not my home cocktail lab. Uh, we will give that another little stir. And ladies and gentlemen, that is essentially it. And now, the piece de resistance, we have to add so many mint sprigs on top so that when you bring that drink to your nose, it is inundated with the mint. There we go, and some fresh seasonal flowers from my garden. Look at that, nasturtium uh, flowers. I love this, this is great. I'm gonna have a little sip, okay? Ready? That's good, I love the use of honey in this cocktail. Classic mint julep. You guys, it, it, is, it is amazing that I'm obviously able to make these for you remotely, but nothing beats in person, and I hope to be able to see you very, very soon. Cheers.